I guess talk about first of all, you know, going into a brand new stadium, uh, playing a team that you already uh, played once earlier. I mean, what's, what, what do you expect down there in LA? Well, there's, well, we know what to expect. It's going to be a high intense game because they're going to want to come out and christen their new stadium with a win. So we're prepared for that. All the other stuff is, you know, you see online, you look at the stadium, it looks absolutely gorgeous. I mean, the field, the stands, the stadium, you know, Southern California weather, it's gonna be a really nice event. We just wanna spoil that event. Kind of repay him for spoiling yeah. the home opener? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, the home opener was a good game, it was competitive, I mean, they scored a really good goal early. And then we put a ton of pressure on them. We just couldn't break through. I think Tyler Miller had a very, very good game that day. Kept him in it a little bit. So, you know, we'll, we'll just get back after him. What do you kind of expect from them? Because they've played the whole season on the road so far. All six of their games have been road games. Um, I'm sure they're going to be excited to be back yeah. playing in, at a home game. We for the expect first a well-coached, well-organized squad, whether they play three at the back, four at the back, how they set their team up. We've scouted their players. We had the benefit of playing them, and they've been fairly consistent in who they've trotted out onto the field. Um, so we're, we're fairly familiar with it. How important is controlling that midfield, and do you have to change much in terms of what you have to do, or are you confident in terms of what the team and where you're going? Hey, Benny. Uh, Vela, they, they've got a they've got a good squad, good good players in the middle of the park. So it'll be key for us to try and establish possession, establish possession higher up the field. We don't want to be pinned back in our half the entire game. They like to press. You know how we use our midfield to get out of that press. It, it, it'll be an interesting tactical game as well. I mean, they score goals, and obviously you look into score goals. Yeah. Yeah. Goal fest, maybe. Well, oh, I know you okay. want to win. Doesn't well, matter how you win, but look, some of that. I mean, their their Montreal game was because the red card. Obviously, that Galaxy game where they were up three and the Galaxy came back. I mean, high scoring game, but that was was that the slot down effect. I mean, yeah, they've been involved in some pretty, you know, interesting games. But there were there were circumstances for those games. What are some characteristics of a Bob Bradley coach team? Like I said, well organized, disciplined. You know, he likes to press. Um, you know, good possession based team. And he's got, and he's and he's got some horses. I mean, Urania up front. He, he puts a lot of work in. Vela, you know, Blessing, Rossi. They they've got some wheels, so they can move pretty fast up the field. So we'll have to be prepared for the you know transition. It seems like Chad's been limited in action so far this week in practice. What's up with him? This residual soreness. He's you know, he's got some aches and pains that we're dealing with, that he's dealing with. So if he's ready, he'll play. And it seemed like there was a concern about a head injury over the weekend. Yeah, it wasn't a head injury. There's no concussion symptoms, nothing like that. It was something else. You're being presented with some uh, tough choices to make in terms of the lineup. Is this uh, indicative to what you talked about at the beginning of the season where you didn't feel that you needed to bring uh, reinforcements and that you were pretty confident with your lineup, uh, the way it was set up at the beginning? I think it's a little bit of both. I mean, look, obviously as a coach, we're never going to turn down a good player. If we would have been able to get the right guy, if we're still able to get the right guy at the right moment, none of us are going to say, no, we don't want him. We deal with what we have, and I think what we have is, is good. Um, you know, I know you guys were interviewing young Alex. I mean, that's been a surprise. Handwall has been a surprise. You know, we've got guys that have come in and done a good job for this club. Which, to answer your question, yeah, I'm happy with some of the progress of, of the guys that are here. In some circles in sports, there's a mentality of don't change a starting lineup after a win. Without asking you to tip your hand too much on whether you are or aren't, what goes into having a conversation like that with a player when you do decide to bench them because of a different tactical matchup? It's the same conversation. They get grumpy. I explain. They stay grumpy. They're for the team. Try and explain it to them the best you can. Be as honest with you can. They're probably still grumpy. But because this is a tight-knit team, they understand it. They get it. It is what it is. Has, has the mood of the team been a, a little better this week, though? Uh, yeah. You had your first win yeah. of, the, of the season. Yeah. Well, it was a determined group because we understood that we didn't play as well as we could. 
So yesterday was a little little chippy. Today was a little better. I think they're getting ready for the game on Sunday.